Hello everyone. So since this week is our final week and it's been all about the great outdoors and we've done a lot of things with camping, I figured I'd read this book. It's called Curious George Goes Camping. <laughs> Curious George Goes Camping. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This weekend, George and his friend, the man with the yellow hat, had special plans. They were going camping. So there's George and his friend with the yellow hat. They're packing to go camping. At the campsite, the man with the yellow hat unpacked their gear while George looked at all the tents. He saw tents for big families and one just the right size for a puppy. There were even tents on wheels. Would you like to help me put up our tent, George? The man asked. Look at that. There's even a tiny one with a puppy in it. That's a pretty cool campsite. George was happy to help. It would not be hard to set up a tent, he thought, but it wasn't easy. George, why don't you fill up our bucket with water at the pump, his friend suggested. We'll need it to get by our campfire later when we roast marshmallows. So it looks like George was having a little bit of trouble putting up the tent, so his friend's asking him to get water instead. Mmm, marshmallows. George loved marshmallows. He couldn't wait to try them roasted. Now don't go and wander off and get into trouble, the man warned, but George did not hear him. He was already gone. Uh-oh, I wonder where he's wandering off to. At the pump, George worked the handle up and down. Soon his bucket was full. On the way back down the trail, he saw a family packing up. George watched a girl pour her bucket of water on a campfire. The fire sizzled out. George thought that that looked fun. So he's watching a girl clean up and this is how you would put out a campfire with water. So he poured his bucket of water on the next campfire. Hey, yelled a camper. We weren't finished with that yet. The camper began to chase George, but George didn't mean to cause trouble. Now, he only wanted to hide. He ran into the forest as fast as he could, but the camper's footsteps followed close behind. George ran faster and faster. The footsteps came closer and closer until suddenly, so there's George running. He put out someone else's fire, but they weren't cleaning up for the day. They were passing George. Why? It was not the camper chasing George. No, it was a deer. What fun to run with a deer, forgetting all about the camper and marshmallows. George ran after the deer. But a little monkey cannot run as fast as a deer in the woods. Before long, George was lost and all alone. He felt tired and he stopped to rest. At first he was worried he was very far from camp, but there were lots. So he got tired, so there he is, he's a little worried. But then there were lots of animals to keep him company. He saw a lizard sunning on a rock and a squirrel chattering in a tree. Then he saw a tail of a black and white kitty peeking out from under a bush. Uh-oh, I don't know if that's a cat. He was curious. Would the kitty like to play? George gently pulled the kitty out. What do you guys think that is if that's not a kitty? Looks like something else to me. Uh-oh, it was not a kid. kitty. It was a skunk. And it was scared. The skunk lifted his tail and sprayed. Phew-wee! The spray smelled awful. The animals tried to get away. George wanted to get away too, but he could not. The smell was all over him. So you can see 
Everyone's running away, but George got sprayed with the skunk. That sometimes happens to some people's dogs. And you have to use tomato soup or, and um, to help get rid of the smell. How would he ever get rid of this awful smell, he wondered. Too bad he could not take a bath in the woods. Oh man, look at all the animals running away because he smells. <laughs> George had an idea. He could wash the smell off in the creek. George jumped into the cold water. He, he splashed and scrubbed, but he was still smelly, and now he was wet too. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. But what could he do? George thought and thought. If he climbed up a tree to dry off, would the smell blow off? No, even dry and high up in a tree, George did not smell better. <sighs> Poor George, he hadn't wandered so far from camp. He could have been back by now. He wished he was roasting marshmallows with his friend. But suddenly, George heard footsteps heading towards him. Someone was coming. Here he is all sad in the tree. It was the forest animals, but they ran right by him. They had seen something scary, and George saw it too. It was a fire. George has gotten into trouble for putting out one fire, but this fire wasn't in the campground. This was an emergency. Quickly, George climbed down the tree and grabbed his bucket. He scooped it full with water in the creek. Then, being careful not to spill, he climbed back up and swung up from branch to branch through the trees. Good thing he knows how to put out a fire now and he had that bucket. Hopefully he can help, right? When George got close enough to the fire, he reached down and poured the water on the flames. He went, out went the flyer with a big Then George's friend rushed out of the forest with the ranger. George, he called. I was afraid you wouldn't be here. It's a good thing you were here, George, the ranger said. We saw smoke from the campground, but you put this fire out just in time. George was glad to help. And the man with the yellow hat was glad to see that George was safe but he had a funny look on his face. George, he asked, what is that smell? So yay, George put out the fire and he found his friend, but he's still a little smelly. <laughs> Back at the campsite, George's friend helped him get rid of the awful smell. After a strange bath in tomato juice, George smelled just fine. See, I told you, you gotta put them in tomato soup, tomato juice, and it helps get rid of skunk smell. Then the man with the yellow hat invited the ranger to cook dinner with them over their small campfire. Fires can be nice if you're careful, said the ranger. George agreed, especially for roasting marshmallows. <laughs> Look at that, he's roasting three at a time. And that is the end of this book. On the back it even says how you can make some scrumptious s'mores. It says with one bar of chocolate, one bag of marshmallows, one roasting stick, and one package of graham crackers. And I think we all know what to do from there. You put the marshmallow on a roasting stick and make sure it gets nice and warm. Don't light it on fire though. And then you put it on um, the chocolate on one side of a graham cracker and then the marshmallow on top of the chocolate and then you take one more piece of a graham cracker and smush it down and you have a great s'more. So that was Curious George Goes Camping and I hope you all are enjoying our last week of program and I hope you all like the activities we have been doing and that we have planned for the great outdoors week. See you later and thank you all for listening. Have a great day.